No institution is beyond reproach. And no member of it either. 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. It has turned out to be an annus horribilis. Season five plays against a period of real criticism and uncertainty and unconfidence. It's quite shocking how overtly critical people were of the monarchy at that time. She never stops, she never complains, she never puts a foot wrong. She's utterly magnificent and they print rubbish like this. It does start with people questioning, do we need the monarchy? Do we need the queen? And she has to ride that particular storm. The only person in this family to have a direct relationship with the First Minister is the Sovereign. Which will one day be me. One day, but not yet. The great tensions that you see in this season that Peter Peter's written about is between this 1950s outlook on the monarchy and on public life and on marriage and the modern day and how they clash and how Diana really represents the modern day and, and Charles is sort of caught between the two. I've done as you asked, Mummy. I've, I've tried to make it work for 11 years. As a result of the marriage breaking down and how she becomes more and more removed from the rest of the royal family, that, of course, sort of encourages her to grow other pieces of her life and attempt to sort of recoup control of the ones that feel like they're spiraling. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it's a bit crowded. Camilla goes from being a sort of, in inverted commas, close friend of Charles to being the subject of media scrutiny. Loving the Prince of Wales has cost me everything. There's all the big kind of uh, epic stories going on, the stories that everyone knows about because they're history. But then there's all the little quiet dramas going on underneath. You cannot bring yourself to acknowledge what happened to me and the part you played in it. It is incredibly well made. It's uh, beautifully produced. What Peter does is think them as a man locked into a very restrictive situation. What must he be thinking? What would I be thinking if I was in that kind of marriage? There is something really energizing about a new cast and suddenly being in a new era. It's a very quietly rewarding experience, actually. We've also seen the first four series of The Crown. Uh, so, of course, we've got that in our heads, as well as the research, as well as our own history of looking at those characters, those real people. So all those layers you've got, hopefully, will carry us through. The challenge of it really motivated me. Most of the time, it just keeps pushing you to either find new ways to approach it or to sort of get around the added layers of pressure. This is such a big show and has had so many great performances in it. If you can be part of a, a, a show like this, you've, you've got to go for it if you can. It's only when we risk reaching too far that we find out how far it's possible to go. I'm thrilled with what they've done and uh, it brings a whole new flavour and energy into the show that I think the show really needs and profits from in season five. If we can't admit the errors of our past, what hope for reconciliation can there be?